Yeah, I know. We're, 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 we're two shows a night. Um, we're, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm really You're just. Fine. I'm on a roll. I haven't been funny all day. It's no, you, day. It's true. It's it's you're you're definitely you're getting there. Four hours. It just took four hours. All right, <laughs> Michaela, will you slay for me your name and height? Absolutely. My name is Michaela Myers. Is not, is running. Yeah. Oh yes. That would be rude. <laughs> okay. Michaela Myers, and I am six feet tall. Holy crap. It's fun for everyone, don't worry. <laughs> so, Dawn, you grew up around here. You probably know all about the Lake of the Blood Lake. Yes, I have heard much about it. It's a very sad story. Mine? Okay, sure. Long ago, there was a great Comanche chief who was loved and adored by his people. His name was Maguara. It was said that Maguara was visited by the Great Spirit in a vision during the last night of the Dark Moon. What the hell's that? What? The moon thing. Part of the lunar cycle lasts about three days before a new crescent moon appears. You are such a geek. Some people call it the Dark Moon but I call it the dead moon. It's a time for inner dreams and visions, a time for renewal, a time for death. Well, thanks for that. Tell us more, dear. So, the great spirit told Navarra that he was pleased with the way he and his people had maintained such harmony with the land. As a reward, the great spirit gave Navarra the sacred staff, the sacred staff of the spirit, along with the words, that would reveal a point of gold that lies beneath the waters of the small lake. Gold? But the knowledge came with Christ. The secret of the lake and the sacred words dare not be uttered to anyone until the next dark moon or a horrible curse would be cast upon his land and his people. What did he do? What do you think? I'm going to accept to be on. Yes. But as you sleep pass, it became more and more difficult to keep a secret, so it came to be that he confided in his daughter, Ayana. Pretty name. I had an Indian name before I got kicked out of the scouts. Yeah, Chief Pencil Dick. Watch it, Nick. Hey, just thought pen, pencil. Seriously, you got kicked out of the scouts? Boys, boys, let her tell the story. Go ahead. So, the day before Maguara would collect his reward, village was made by Texas Rangers. Every man, woman, and child were killed. Except for the chief and his daughter. Wow. Oh my god, that's horrible. Come to find out, the Rangers had been mistakenly dispatched by a lynch mob who all swore that this was the tribe that had killed a woman and her baby during a raid at the nearby homestead. No shit. Bunch of dead Indians for nothing? That's hardcore. They'll have their revenge. Not when they're dead, Cupcake. What happened with the chief and his daughter? Angora was tortured, and his daughter was forced to watch. But it soon became too much for her to bear, so she divulged the secret of the lake to the rangers in hope of saving her father's life. But that didn't work. No, it didn't. They just bring the hope alive. Afterwards, the captain went to the lake and recited the sacred words. What happened? The Great Spirit was so angered by the Texans' ruthlessness and greed that he summoned his most powerful magic to put a curse on the lake. What kind of curse? The captain and his, man were, and his men were banished into the depths of the lake, never to return. He said that the water turned. Blood Lake. Some say that Maguara still protects the secret of Blood Lake from those who dare ripple its waters in the name of greed. Kick ass. It's a cooler legend than I thought. How much of this do you believe is true? Only those who are there know what happened. 